Hey everybody, welcome to Pico Space Industries. Today we have a launch with Galaxy Art Media to put a telescope in orbit around Minmus. Now this is a sandbox launch to basically test some new equipment, etc. before we actually put it into all Pico kind. In addition, this rocket has a special function, which is that it is actually about 95% renewable or reusable, and uh, we'll be launching soon and we'll show you what we've got in store for the second stage. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, well that kind of got a little hotter than I originally thought, but you can see here that, uh, yeah, the second stage has uh, successfully uh, completed its primary burn. Secondary burn will put it into a circulation. Uh, we just have to wait until it gets to orbit where the fairings will be disengaged and the pa solar panels will uh, come out in order to keep this craft powered. And hopefully everything will be done before it goes too much into the dark because there isn't a lot of battery power on this guy. And yeah, there's some lightning down below, thanks to the volumetric mod. And with solar panels engaged, we're uh, simply moving up to the circulation burn, which will put us into a low carbon orbit. And there we go, we are in a low carbon orbit. At this point, we're gonna say goodbye to the second stage and we're gonna continue on with the mission. However, the second stage does have a little unique thing, so be sure to stick around once we get this to Minmus. And that gets us clear of the second stage. Now, this uh, stage does have a whole rocket assembly here. So with any luck, this is going to work. And we're gonna begin our probably very long burn to Minmus. Because this engine is, you know, very underpowered, we are going to need to do a second little tiny burn to correct for the time warp I needed to do, uh, because obviously this would have otherwise taken forever, and unfortunately time warp tends to be a little bit wonky when it comes to accuracy. So we're going to do this last secondary burn um, just to ensure that we do get to uh, Minmus orbit, which we're almost at right now. So we're going to say goodbye to Kerbin and hello to Minmus. This final burn will put us into orbit around Minmus, and then we can begin to do our deep space imaging or potentially even look at the surface of Minmus, which currently looks a little pixelated for some reason, but mm, there you go. Okay, so now that our satellite is in orbit around Minmus and imaging the surface, we definitely want to put it into more of a polar orbit, and the reason for this is because this would allow us to get the entire planet rather than just the equator. So in order to do that, we're going to change the inclination to 90 degrees, and that's going to allow us to do this. And this will allow the craft to reorientate itself and then burn a bit more fuel uh, with this really nice uh, electrical engine, which is the supplemental electrical engine. This is the Waffle. 
and allow us to basically reposition so that we are actually doing a polar orbit which will allow us to map the entire planet. So here you can see that we are imaging the surface of Minmus with our telescope. So at this point we're going to find our way back to Kerbin because we still have a secondary stage which is still in low Kerbin orbit and still hopefully has some battery power left. So that we are doing this and we're going to engage the engine basically enough to put us into a low Kerbin orbit descent. And once we are, we are going to stop that and eject this part here. This is our part of our 95% that wasn't uh, recoverable. That was kind of unavoidable um, because our next step here is to actually inflate this inflatable heat shield. That's right. Um, this has an inflatable heat shield. And now that we have separated far enough from that, we are going to adjust our trajectory a bit. And that's going to put us into a descent. Basically with the trajectory line here, return back to Kerbin. And we're probably going to land somewhere in over an ocean. But that's just the nature of landing in Kerbin when you're doing sort of an uncontrolled launch. And the spin is to keep this going so it doesn't accidentally uh, flip over. Because there was a giant discussion on my Discord server as to landing with inflatable heat shield, having to rotate it. Because right now, while there is still some fuel in this engine, which we could have burnt off and done a much more steeper descent, um, the actual heaviest part of this uh, rocket is actually the engine. And if it was to flip, obviously we wouldn't be able to flip it back over um, once it's uh, entering the atmosphere. So at some point I do expect that it's going to do a flip, but for right now it's just spinning like crazy as uh, we uh, head closer. Oh, apparently it stops when I time warp. And again, this is a great time to remind you that Galaxy Art Media was sponsoring this video. Um, if you are ever interested in getting yourself a telescope, definitely check out his YouTube channel because he will basically tell you what you need to know about getting telescopes. And then you can go out and buy one from your local supplier and enjoy the night sky as we enjoy this slow descent into curb. <laughs> So it would appear that we lost a wing, which isn't ideal, but honestly, given how crazy that uh, descent was, uh, I'll take a wing loss um, over what that could have been. So 94% return on the rocket weight, uh, I'll go for it. <laughs> 